All right. Welcome back to a new episode of the Say It Out Loud podcast. I'm your host, Vasavi Kumar. I'm really letting you in behind the scenes of what went on uh, yesterday. So like actually behind the scenes, because I, I audio recorded this entire process. As I hone in on my craft, stepping into my performer role, I'm acutely aware of my blockages and I am acutely aware of the things that are holding me back. And the biggest thing that's been holding me back is my relationship to my body. And it's not every single part of my body. It's my stomach. I have this thing, my stomach. When I gain weight, I gain it in my stomach. When I lose weight, I lose it in my stomach. I lose it all over, but that's the focal point of my life has been my body. It's always been, is my body good enough? Is my body okay enough? Is it acceptable? Is someone going to find this attractive? Are people going to wonder, um, she's, she's like, okay looking, but like, why is she fat? These are things that I tell myself. You may be listening to this or watching this and being like, what are you talking about? You're not fat. What are you saying? But that's the thing that, you know, this is, this is, this is what happens when we have a distorted view of distorted view of reality, right? I have a distorted view of how I look at my body and how I talk to my body. And uh, this is very personal, right? It's personal. We talk a lot about self-love. We talk so much about self-love, but self-hatred is real. And that's what I want you to really get the behind the scenes of this episode where I let a white woman that I met, I, I have known for less than 24 hours, come to my house and watch me take off my clothes and witness me naked. I know. That's a really good hook. It is. But that's what happened. I met a woman, Monica Zanz, at my friend Nita's daughter's religious ceremony. We hit it off. I first time I met her. And I had shared with her, you know, that morning that I was doing my uh, uh, practices that I do, you know, as I step into my actor and comedian role. What is uh, what are the practices that I do for my body? Right. Is to look at my body in the mirror, make it and pay attention to how I talk to all the different parts of my body. What do I say about my shoulders? What do I say about my face? What do I say about my hair? What do I say about my stomach? What do I say about my thighs? How do I feel about my toes? How do I feel about my butt, my bottom, whatever. And the one area of my life where the one area of my body that I've been the cruelest to is my stomach. Um, sometimes I don't even, sometimes when I touch myself, I don't even know whose hands, whose hands these are. One thing I shared with Monica, when we were going through this process yesterday of her seeing me take my clothes off and me standing in front of my mirror naked, and then having her there is talking to myself in the mirror. So she's like my audience, right? And this is really helping me in my stage presence because when I'm in front of an audience, I want to be present with an audience. I don't want to be sitting here thinking about, oh, does my stomach look big? Do I have too many rolls? Do I like, this is the kind of shit that I say to myself, you know, are my thighs touching? Like I, I'm conscious of my body. And it's interesting because in the Hindu way of life, in our scriptures, it says we are not the body. We are not the body. So I've been told from a very young age, we're not the body. Yeah, but I have a body. I have a body. So I'm, I'm, I'm making peace with what I have translated as, you know, oh, my body doesn't matter. We are not the body. How spiritual of me. We are not the body. We are not the mind. I get it. And to function every single day at the level that I want to function, I need a relationship with my mind and my body. So to say I am not my body while very holy, <laughs> sounds very holy and very spiritual and very evolved, I have a body. And so what am I going to do with my relationship with my body? How am I going to be? Monica being someone that I just met and also being a blonde white woman is very new for me. It's like killing two birds with one stone, right? Um, Growing up on Long Island, it was not easy being one of very few Indian families in an all-white town. That's number one. And then also having a woman, uh, you know, who's a little bit older than me, you know, almost like a mom figure, felt like a mom figure. You know, for me, my, my mother 
you know, her coming from her generation, they're not, you know, out there flaunting their body. It's not, it's not what we do in our culture, right? Even in Bollywood movies, you see, you know, they, they're covered in their saris or their salvar kameez and they kiss, but, they, you know, they always come close to, close to each other, but don't actually kiss. It's very seductive. It's very suggestive, but no one actually like acts on it. You know, it's like too much, n- not too much. Um, and so it was, it, was a, it was a huge opportunity for me to have a woman, a white woman witness me naked. And here's the thing. I kept asking my, my two friends, I was like, am I crazy for doing this? And they were like, no, you're looking at everything in your life that's stopping you from stepping into the truest version of yourself. If the way you talk to your body and the way you talk about your stomach, your body parts is, is, is taking up that energy that could be channeled into your creativity and more confidence on stage, then do what you got to do. And that's what I really want today's episode for you to, to, to sink in. Know yourself and know how you hold yourself back so much that you become so clear on what you need to do. Like, oh, I see what I'm doing. This is what I need. I don't think it has to take years and years and years to heal. I felt something looking in the mirror two days ago and thinking, I need someone to witness me. I can look at me, but I need a new set of eyes to witness me. Um, It just came to me. I ran with it. And I happened to be at an event where I met somebody and I didn't think she was ever going to volunteer to see me naked, but she did. So what you're going to listen to now, what you're going to hear is the entire 40 minutes or so of the process of me derobing, looking at myself, being grateful for my body, saying things that I say to my body, um, and really ha- having appreciation for my body and working through that and, and coming through on the other side. And I feel fantastic. I feel beautiful. I feel so beautiful. I can't believe I've, it's taken me this long to appreciate what it means to be a woman. And I want to thank Monica Zanz for really helping me with that. You're an earth angel. And I'm so grateful to you, Monica. Thank you, Monica. Sorry. Um, yeah. So here it is. Here's the behind the scenes of. Um, me taking off my clothes and being witnessed. <laughs> 